prepare right now xrp ripple investors today is the big day it is the party with that said hit the like button subscribe for daily technical analysis and price prediction this is dc trading today we have crypto news and then we'll get into the technical analysis and price prediction starting off with some breaking news coming from ripple they are no longer moving forward with the acquisition with fortress trust a few weeks ago, we signed a letter of intent to acquire Fortress Trust. We've since made the decision not to move forward with an outright acquisition, though Ripple will remain an investor in Fortress Trust. This is coming from the CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse. This is very interesting, guys. Yes, this was bullish news. Obviously, this would, ha would have helped Ripple and XRP in the long run. But obviously, there is something wrong that they know, and they're not going to tell us. Now, we do have some more news. As you guys know, today is the big party. It is the victory. They did say, expect a big announcement. Is it going to be a settlement, an IPO, a major partnership with a trillion dollar bank or SWIFT? XRP futures? We don't know, guys. We will find out. And this is why I tell you guys make sure to subscribe because i will keep you guys updated on any major news in regards to the party okay we also have some more news with crypto well the coinbase you know the ceo of coinbase is slamming jp morgan for banning crypto payments in the uk as you guys know earlier this week they did announce in the uk that you can no longer buy crypto with your chase credit card or debit card i should say because of the surge in scams this is very interesting in my opinion i don't believe jp morgan has the right to tell you what to do with your money and last but not least we have the government shut down we have until sunday 1201 a.m to pass a new law to extend government funding or else we're going to have a shutdown. This is obviously not good for a lot of people in America. Uh, this will be interesting to find out what happens. But that's all for today with crypto news. Moving forward, let's do a technical analysis and price prediction for XRP. Taking a look at the chart right now, XRP is sitting around 52 cents. It did rise all the way up to 55 cents today why because everyone is anticipating the party the big announcement and this is why i tell you guys please do not be fooled just sit back relax dollar cost average become a long-term investors do not fomo but the reason why we are seeing a surge in the xrp price is obvious everyone is antsy right now everyone is waiting for this big announcement you need to calm down, relax, because crypto overall is in a bad spot right now. Bitcoin is stuck around 26,000. XRP is stuck around, you know, 50 cents. Uh, the stock market looks like it's going to correct at some point. We are on the verge of a recession. Next month, student loan repayments resumes. We're going to find out where the U.S. economy is heading. But over here, from a technical standpoint, we are still neutral because we're not above 55 cents and we're not below 45 cents. And as I said, we need the daily and weekly candle to close above or below if we want to be bullish or bearish. And I did tell you, if we do break below this ascending line of 45 cents, that means there is a good chance we will come back down and correct to 30 cents. That is just something to look out for as a long-term investor. Obviously, you're excited about that because that will be at a discounted price. Remember, guys, this asset right here that's called XRP is deemed not a security on paper and by law. This is why I tell you guys, this is one of the safest cryptos to invest in, not financial advice. But overall, we are neutral because we're not above 55 and we're not below 45 and as i said if we do get a bullish week next week we should expect a 55 cent xrp and the next resistance would be 60 cents so we do have a couple resistance to break through 
before we can even talk about a $1 XRP. Now taking a look over here at the Bitcoin price, what do we see? Well, it looks like it is correcting. We did close the daily candle yesterday above 27,000. That was a good sign. But now guys, I did tell you we need the daily and weekly candle to close above 27,000. Well, it looks like we are below 27,000. We have about three days until the weekly candle closes. So be on the lookout. As I said, do not FOMO into this. We got rejected once again at the 0.786 Fibonacci. It looks like we're coming back down and correcting. Current price of BTC is around 26,767. Now, <clears throat> taking a look over here. Uh, if we do correct, you heard that correctly. If we do correct all the way back down to 25,000, please pay attention to this price level of 24,758. Because if we break below this level, that means there's a good chance we will come back down to 2120k. Don't be surprised if this does happen in the winter time because there is a threat of a recession, a threat of a war with China and Taiwan. There's also, you know, the average American right now is struggling, which is going to put the U.S. economy in jeopardy. This is why I'm preparing you not scaring you it's better to be prepared than scared but taking a look right here we are still neutral on btc why because we're not above twenty-seven thousand, and we're not below twenty-five thousand. this is where it should be dollar cost averaging in my opinion but taking a look at the two biggest indicators what do we see the dxy is correcting because we were almost at 107 earlier this week and as you guys can see we are correcting which is good because it was gaining a lot of momentum as for the S&P 500, yes, we did drop earlier this week, but now we are recovering and we are currently creating a green candle on the weekly time frame. This is good news, but I am a little worried about this. I wouldn't be surprised if we do see a correction because of the threat of a recession. Overall, guys, uh, crypto is all over the place. A lot of mixed signals going on. And this is why I tell you guys, do not trade cryptocurrencies because you can easily wreck your account especially if you are new and don't know what you're doing become a long-term investor, in my opinion dollar cost average it's that simple in one to two years from now we're going to be in a completely different situation uh the right now crypto is becoming adopted globally g20 talked about creating a global framework around cryptocurrency they understand they cannot ban crypto so when you hear people say Oh yeah, they're going to ban crypto. They are completely lying. They don't even know what they're talking about. Overall, understand in one or two years from now, we're going to be in a completely different situation. The bull run will be here by 2025. Uh, the Bitcoin having is next year. On top of that, we have a spot Bitcoin ETF getting ready to be approved by early 2024. And we have crypto regulation in America to still be in place probably by the end of 2023 or, you know, in 2024. So just be patient with that said this is dc trading that's all i have for today um hit the like button subscribe for daily technical analysis and price prediction if you made it this far comment the number 515 peace